It's a novel for soldier. Like I told you, my name is Hamish, but a lot of people or they like call me sometimes. Twenty five bacteria or bacteria dinosaur. No, or oh, what's time? Let's go to the uh, to this one. So I'm gonna break down all the things we finished today, okay? And then we're gonna go next step. Now let's go. So now let's start with the roots. Why did I start there? Because there's a form here. You know, we don't just wanna go differentiation. Then you don't know what this form. How I'm gonna do so now. First and foremost, before you differentiate, make sure your stuff is not in a root. It has to be an exponent. Let's start first with the uh, basis of differentiation. If somebody give you, uh, let's say uh, this is y uh, equal, let's say this is y power square and x power cube. Now let's just say y, yeah, y power square. So when you differentiate, what you do, you see this one here? This number top, take to the back. So if there's no number, means there's a 1. So you take this to the back, so it's going to be 2 times this 1 is going to be 2. And then drop this, take this number minus 1. 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Oh, easy. So what did you differentiate here? You differentiate y. So you must give you dy. dy is like I'm um, giving you respect. So you come here, you take this to the back, means there's a number one here. If there's no number, means one. Three times one equal to three, and then x, three minus one equal to two. So you differentiated x, so you must give dx. You know what I'm saying? Guys, excuse me. There's a little noise in the background, a little bit, so you know what I'm saying? I don't have another space. That's the only space I got for now. So please, man, forgive me just in case if you get any distraction. My apologies. Here we go. Some noise man in the back. Okay, cool. Let's go. So now we're gonna say uh for that case now we wanna get dy dx because when you differentiate your change to get dy dx. So to get dy dx means I'm gonna have to divide by dx and then divide by dx. This and this go. So now it's gonna be d this is what I'm looking for. So dy over dx equal this is 3x squared. But remember having 2y here. So since I don't I don't need this 2y. So this had okay, let's write 2y. So now, I want to get the value of this. This is what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do, divide by 2y, and here divide by 2y. So then finally, this one, I mean this and this cancel. So dy of dx equal to this. So dy over dx equal to 3x squared over 2y. That's how you differentiate. You know what I'm saying? But remember, after you finish, so that's how you differentiate, but it's not good to have a y here. Everything must be x here. So what about of y? You come here and say, okay, my y square, which I was given, equal to x cubed. So if I want to replace this y, what I'm going to do? Oh, so I just need y. So I'm going to square root, I'm going to square root. This and this goes, so my y equal to cube root of 3. Oh, so I'm going to replace this y with that. So now this is going to be 3x square, and then we have 2, but instead of y, I'm going to say square root of cube root. Means I'm going to replace this with that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you differentiate. Like, let's take a few examples. A few more. few more. Okay, so somebody gave you, for example, uh, f of x equal to uh, 3x power 8. So now, how are you going to differentiate this? When you differentiate, this number is going to come here and multiply. It's going to give you 20. For drop this number, and then take 8, whichever number is here, minus 1. So 8 minus 1 equal to 7. And then what you do is say f, and then push prime here. That's how you differentiate. You know what I'm saying? Now let's accept some more examples. So somebody give it, let's say, uh, g of x equal to, uh, let's say, negative 7 over 5 and then x power 7. So what you're going to do? Oh, x power, uh, yeah, power 7. Take this number and apply here. So negative 7, 7 times negative 7 is going to be negative 49. Drop, write your number exactly, and then take this 7, take whatever you see, a minus 1. 7 minus 1 equal to 6, and then over, we have a 5. And then write this is g f prime. That's how you differentiate. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you differentiate this two more. So sometimes they don't want to keep straight like that. So now I'm going to show you now how the root comes about. Okay. Okay. So somebody gives stuff like this, for example. They say f of x equal to square root of x. So you see now, how are you going to take this to the back? You can't because it's in the root form. So all you have to do, you have to change to exponent form. So how are you going to change to exponent? Look, if somebody gives stuff like this, meaning there's no number here. So if there's no number, we know automatically. Look, before you say it, if somebody say 3, what is 3? 3 means like say 3 over 1, because 3 over 1 is still equal to 3. If somebody say 5, and say 5 over 1, it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So if there's no number here, if there's no number, like no number here, in automatically there's a 2 over 1. 
So if I don't want to write as a root, I want to write as an exponent, I'm going to write whatever is in here, and then see this number, flip it, it's going to be one over two. That's how you always get square root of number equal to half. So if somebody give me, let's say, uh, g of, uh, let's say, k, g of, uh, okay, x, and then we got three. So what is three? Three meaning, it's just three. So this, let me say, this is like put over one, because you know, if you say three, it's like three over one. So now I'm going to say, I'm going to write whatever is in here, and then I'll flip it. It's going to be one over three. So this is the first step. We change from the root to exponential. You change your root to exponential. Means you change your root to exponential form. And then you go in the next step, you can different shift. You know why? Because look, how is it going to take the number here to the back if it's in the root? No way. But here in this form, you can different shift because I'm going to take this number to the back. You know what I'm saying? Now let's differentiate. So this is not yet differentiated, but I will change from the root to the exponential. Now let's differentiate. So I still have my effects here. I still have fx, my ffx. Now let's differentiate. Means if there's no number, means there's a one. A half times one equal to a half. I'm gonna drop exactly x, and then a half minus one equal to minus a half. Oh, so that means, and you must put prime here because the moment you take back, that means differentiating or derivative. Okay? Oh yes. So now this let me say one over two. And then it's going to be x negative a half, and then we're going to reciprocate because this power is negative. So we're going to take to the denominator. I'm going to show you now how to reciprocate. Don't worry about it. For now, just know if this is, is has a negative, you can bring to the bottom. So we still have a half, and then take this to the bottom. So it's going to be x power positive half. You only change this negative to positive if you jump the border. So it did jump the border, come to the bottom. And why do I jump in the border? Because it's negative. So when you jump the border, you change to positive. You know what I'm saying? So this is phase prime. F prime is the derivative equal to x, and this will be x a half. Okay, let's take some few more. So somebody give you, uh, for example, okay, somebody give you, uh, let's say k of x equal to, okay, six over eight negative, and then they give you x3. So, oh, so you cannot differentiate if it's in a root form. Root is like this. You <laughs> see? That's head over there. So we don't need the head. So I'm going to have to change it to face. So face step, make sure you change from the root to exponential. So this will be k of x. That's a face step before I differentiate. It's going to be negative 6. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say 8 to 1. Let's make it 2. Over 8 to 1. So this x and this is going to become, remember this is like over 1. It, they don't give to you, but I know it's 3 over 1. So it's going to be x and this is going to be 1 over 3. Oh, so from there, then I can differentiate. You know why? Because I can take this number to the back. So when it's a root, make sure you have to change from the root to exponential. So now let's go. So this, let me say k of x equal. So take this number, multiply by negative 1 over So it's going to be negative 6 over 8 to 1. Multiply by the number 1 over 3. And then we're going to drop this. Means it's because remember it's on top, so it's like on top. We're gonna drop and then one over three minus one is gonna be negative two over three. But you can use the calculator, okay? You want so now we have differentiated, you must put that prime, okay? So now, k okay, prime, so we're done. But uh, negative six times one equal to negative six, 81 times three is gonna be two four three. But you know, this is negative, so it's not good to leave it as a negative, so it's gonna to go to the bottom, like I say, that's how you reciprocate meaning only when it's in the negative. So we're gonna say, oh. So I'm gonna take all this stuff to the bottom. So I'm gonna write my number and then flip flop here. It's gonna be x two over three, but it's gonna become positive. So this is face the river. Okay, let me just take two, two more example and then we go. And then we go to the question. Okay, cool. Okay, so make sure you remember you have to exponential. It has to be the root. It must be exponential. Okay, we're gonna start a question very very soon. This question is easy. I just explain to you so that you, you you understand what is happening. You know. Okay. In 10 minutes, we'll be done with all this stuff here. When you start to solve, it's going to be very easy, this question, okay? So sometimes they're going to give stuff like this, excuse me. So, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me say this, okay? So the rules, there's like few simple rules. Only if it's in a root, make sure you change to exponential. Just like how I'm doing, make sure you change to exponential. And then after that, Everything must be on top. I'll explain to you what that means when we say on top. And then after that, you can differentiate. You accept it to differentiate. There's a lot of ways, but this is for easy way for you to make your life easy. So root must be exponential, and only if you have a root. But you don't have a root, don't bother with it. For example, somebody can say, k of x equal to, let's say, uh, negative 5 over 
x. Let's say this is no number. So we know if there's no number means what? Or let's say 4. Okay, let's say differentiate. So first and foremost, everything must be in exponential. Oh, do we have a root? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's say, let's say plus, let's say plus uh, 5x4. So first of all, do you have any root? Oh, yes, we have something root here. Where's the root? It's a root right here, man. There's a problem here. So this one is fine. It's okay. So this is a root. So root must be changed to exponential. So the first step, change it to exponential. Oh, so this time you see, uh, it's going to be negative 5. Okay, let's write go down. So this could be kfx equal to negative 5. And then this it must be. So if there's no number, means like over 1 here. Even if they didn't give us, we know 4 means 4 over 1. So we're going to change this. It's going to become x. We flip, it's going to be 1 over 4. And this could become 5, and then we got x power 4. So we have not started yet to differentiate. Change it from if you, only if you have a root to exponential. So everything in exponential. Yes! So what is the next step? Everything must go to the top. Oh! Not everything will be wrong. The one with the x, the one with the variable. See, this is the variable we want to differentiate x's. X's, they must be on top. So this stuff here is the denominator. So let's take to the top face. Oh, we take to the top? Oh, yes, of course, you must take to the top. So I'm going to say k of x. Half is 38, right? So negative 5. And then this is going to go to the top. But if you jump the borders, if, the, if this is possible, remember, right? No sign is possible. When you jump the borders, it's going to become what? Negative. The moment you go up or down, it must become negative. Why do I do that? Because you cannot differentiate. You can, but this is an easy way to differentiate when everything is on top. So I'll take this to the top here, top of the line. So it's going to become x. And then it's going to become negative 1 over 4 because positive here. And the denominator just positive. So plus or plus 5, and then x power 4. Oh! So no root? Yes, no root. Everything exponential? Yes, it's root. everything exponential you can see. Okay. On top? Yes, everything is on top. So what is the next step? Next step you can differentiate. When you say differentiate or derivative, the same thing. Differentiate or derivative, the same thing. So now we can differentiate from here. So how are we going to differentiate? Look. So after all the this one, we can differentiate. So here's going to be k prime equal. So you see here? is going to come back. So it's going to be negative 5 times negative 1 over 4, which is going to become what? 5 over negative 1 over 4. It's going to become 5. You can use the calculator if you want. Over 4 means take this, multiply by negative 5. It's going to give us 5 over 4. And then drop this exactly. And then take this number, minus 1. Negative 1 over 4, minus 1. Whichever number is here, minus 1. Which is going to give us negative 5 over 4. Okay? Now plus is just a plus. Now we come for the second one. Oh, it's also exponential, so we can do the same game. What times 5 equal to 20? Take this one, drop it. Do we have this? 4 minus 1 equal to 3. You must take this one, whatever it's there, minus 1. Same here. This one minus 1, you get negative 5 half. So, we're done. So, we have already differentiated. And don't forget to write your prime here. So, then after that, uh, we're done. But it's not good to finally, even if you finish, but uh, it's not good to leave like this. We're going to take to the bottom again. <laughs> so, the reason why we took to the top because for you to differentiate, it must be in an in a exponential form. So, we're done. Everything has been differentiated. This is your final answer. But I don't leave your final answer always in negative form. So we're going to take it to the bottom. It's going to be k prime, 5 over 4. And this is going to come to the bottom, which is going to be x. This is negative, it's going to become positive. 5 over 4 in the plus 20x cubed. And then we're done. So that's the final answer. You know what I'm saying? Let me show two examples. And then we go to this example here. We'll run over them in one minute, and then we get done. Okay, cool. So steps are simple, right? Make sure you follow these steps. Okay, let's take some few examples here. Let's make quick, man. So somebody gives stuff like this, for example. Okay, somebody give us a, a GFX equal to uh, seven over uh, let's say the one or uh, can okay this is plus two and the plus is a negative negative uh, okay five x and then plus okay let's say here a negative eighty and then here square root of fifth root of x and then plus uh, a x okay plus t let's say plus seven or oh, minus 70. okay cool now let's go so let's say uh find derivative or differentiate means find g dash or oh, in other words g dash means derivative okay excuse me solve my problem 
So now let's go. So this is easy. First and foremost, everything, anything which is in root, not everything in a root. For example, this is not root. This is not root. So we need to find. We need to find this here. So this is this one is in root, so it must be in a power. This also is in a root, it must be in power. It must be in exponential. This is okay because it's in power. This also is okay. So now let's come here. So everything in the root must be in exponential. Oh, so how we gonna do this? This is gonna become g x equal to g x equal to. Excuse me, just a minute. I wanna check something here with the camera. Everything set it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So this is gonna become seven. My apologies. Okay. So this is gonna become x a half. You know why? Because if there's no number, it's like two over one. If there's no number, two over one. So you're gonna write x and then you flip this number one over two. Okay. Minus eighteen times. This also must be flipped because it is 5 is 5 over 1, so it's going to become x 1 over 5 because you flip it when you want to write in power. And this is going to become a x, no power means power 1. Why say power 1? Because look, if somebody say 8, it's same as say 8 power 1 because 8 power 1 is like 8 itself. If somebody say 2, this is 2 power 1. So the reason why I do that is because I want to write in power so later I can take it back. This is just a 70, so no x. There's no x for that. So let's go. So now easy. So oh, everything exponential. The next step, everything must go to the top. This is a problem. Must go to the top. This one is already on top. This is on top. That's on top. Means it's on numerator. I should say numerator. Okay, I think numerator will be more suitable word. So here we say numerator. So everything must be numerator. Numerator. So okay, now let's go. So this is gonna become g of x. So we have we haven't yet started to differentiate. So let's go to seven, and this is gonna become x negative a half, and then minus 80x and this 1 over 5 plus a x 1 minus 7 so remember these steps must go together like everything power everything 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 don't jump like okay let me do this group differentiate and leave this no you'll be in trouble do everything like all the steps must go like cool now next step now so okay now we go do you have any root no nothing root. do you have exponential everything yeah, everything is in exponential see okay everything on top yes everything numerator Different shape now. Okay, now let's go different shape. It's easy, man. So I'm gonna say this is easy, 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 easy. The <sighs> space is not enough, so I'm gonna say, oh, so this is gonna become. So if I different shape, we're gonna say g prime. So this is gonna become g prime equal. Okay, now negative a half this multiplied by the number. So seven times negative half is gonna be negative seven over two. So this will be negative seven over two. And then you, draw, you write your x, you write your x. Now take this number minus one. Negative a half minus one is gonna be negative three over two. Negative three over two. Now we come for the second one. So take this multiply by this. Okay, so this is one over five. One over five times eight is gonna become negative eight two. We have a negative, we have a negative, so it's gonna be eighteen over five. Excuse me. Yeah, negative eight over five. Because take one over five times negative eight, negative eight over five, and then drop your x, drop your x, uh, one over five minus one is gonna be one over five, one over five. Minus one, negative four, five, negative four, of five. Okay, now we come here, plus, plus. One times a, because this a is just like a constant number. It's like average number. You know what I'm saying? And what you differentiate is only x. For this case, because gx, so you differentiate x. So one times a is gonna be a, and this will be x. One minus one equal to zero. So this one, it doesn't have an x. If a number does not have an x, means when you differentiate, you get zero. So it's like minus zero, so I don't have to write anything. Know what I'm saying? So if any number, it doesn't have any, for here it does not have an x, because you differentiate x, this is gonna give us zero. And you understand how zero comes, because this has no x, so it became zero, so this is come about. So now we're done with the equation, but finally we cannot leave the equation with a negative power. So this is okay, but sometimes, if something has to do with a multiple choice, if I'm marking your paper, I can give a marks like that, I'm gonna take out one mark. You know what I'm saying? So I'll say g prime. So now this we're gonna have to reciprocate finally. So negative seven over two. Take it to the bottom. So you take it to the bottom. It's gonna become x. Exactly right though how it is, but you only change it become positive and then negative for eight over five. Take it to the bottom. It's gonna become x four over five. Okay, and then plus. Okay, any number power zero equal to one. If somebody say Hamish power zero equal to one, you know what I'm saying? Africa. See this map of Africa? Never mind, I'm not good draw. You know what I'm saying? If you take all this power zero equal to one. So now this stuff here, 
a x power 0 equal to 1 so it's like a times 1 it's like a times 1 a times 1 equal to a so this is your face theory you know what i'm saying so i think you have a, an idea how to do this now let's go to the question and solve it so uh, the consider is root everything must be an exponential everything must go to the numerator and then after that cool so here exponential form exponential let's say numerator here i think numerator no more so then after that it must be numerator Okay, cool. Now let's go, guys. So now let's do this question here easy, man. I want to start from the last question and go to the. Uh, uh, there's one more thing I have to show you, uh, that's, which is the last question. Uh, let's do the top question. Then we're going to do the last question at last. Differentiate that. So first and foremost, I'm gonna look everything in the root. Do you have any root there? No, no root, no root, no root. Okay, is everything in exponential? Yes. Everything in exponential. Yes. Is everything in numerator? No, not everything in numerator. This one is so what is that everything that you say? I'm kind of confused. The everything means these x's. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna say, what about this or no? You only focus on the x's. This is the one we're saying the numerator, uh, these, these. So everything. Is in the root? No, no, no root, no root. So we don't have any root for all group here. Exponential, yes. This exponential, this exponential, this exponential. Power one meaning because this is no problem is power one, and this is power one also. And this is five. But the problem, not everything in numerator. This x here is not a problem. It must go to the numerator. So now, if I had to rewrite, this is same as same. So I'm gonna write into the numerator. So it's gonna be negative, negative one, negative x power six of two. And then plus x power 6, and then this is going to go to the top. So we're going to have a minus here, and then I still have a 4. But uh, this stuff is going to go to the top, it's going to become x, and this is positive, it's going to become negative. Negative, and then this is going to be minus, it's the numerator, so we sort it here, and then plus 5. Okay, now let's differentiate now. So since the space is very enough here, I can do here. You know what I'm saying? So say, okay, so now f of x, let me rewrite again. So f of x. Now, is negative x power 6 over 2 over 2 and then plus x power 6 and then minus 4 x minus 1 and then minus and then minus 3 x power 1 and then plus 5 Now, okay, so we see is everything numerate Now, uh, the next things, let's differentiate You know what I'm saying? Let's differentiate So let's differentiate, okay, so we can differentiate Oh yes, yeah, so this will be f, f prime because now we differentiate, we must put prime Okay, this 6 is going to come back. It's going to be 6 times negative is negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3. I'll drop my x, take this number minus 1. 6 minus 1 equal to 5, and then plus, now we come here. 6, there's no number missed, there's a 1. 6 times 1 equal to 6. Drop your x, x. 6 minus 1 equal to 5. Now we come here. Negative 1 times negative 4 equal to positive 4. Drop your number, drop your number. Negative 1 minus 1 equal to negative 2. Take this, whatever is here, minus 1. Now, 1 times 3, 3, and then we got x. 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Plus, this has no x. So it has no x means it's zero when you differentiate, it's going to be zero. How, what you mean about it? How does the zero comes about? Look, I want to explain to you, just in case, because some people might say, okay, how that comes about? If somebody give you, let's say, uh, eight. Uh, that's not part of the question, man. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to explain another trope, but I can just explain it quick. Okay, let me explain it to you quick so you understand what's happening. So this is five, how does it become zero? Look, when you say five, any number power 0 go to 1. So I'm going to say this multiply by x power 0. You know I say x power 0 because we differentiate x. So it did not make any difference. It's like x 5 times 1. Because all this stuff here means 1. Any number power 0 go to 1. So if I had to rewrite this, I can say this is 5x power 0. So if I differentiate, look what happens. Means this 0 must come back. It's going to become 0 times 5 equal to 0. And then drop my x. 0 minus 1 equal to negative. So 0 times anything is 0. That's why this always says zero. Constant number equal to zero. So don't bother with anything. Just say if this number does not have an x, when you differentiate it equal to zero. So I don't have to write anything. So now we finish. But since we finish, we can leave like that. You know what I'm saying? The last step, we have to reciprocate. You know why? Because even though we finish, but we don't need anything with the power negative. Okay, cool. So now this one becomes means f prime equal to negative three power five and the plus six. 
x power 5, okay? Plus 4, x power negative 2. Oh, my apologies. This is the one have to be reciprocated. So it's gonna go to the denominator here because it's gonna come to the bottom, so become positive, and then three, remember n number was zero equal to one. So it's like negative three times one equal to negative three. So this is our final answer. So the first one is done. Now we go to the question number two. Question number two is easy. So I'm gonna raise this. Okay, so question number two quick. So I'll need this one also. My polish, oh my white boy is one of Oh, drop now, man. What am I doing? Man? Excuse me, sorry, just for a second. Okay, thank you. Let me check my camera quick. Oh, yeah, I think you can see there. Two just falling. Okay, cool. Now let's go. So question number two is easy. So what I'm going to do first, any root we have, yes, there's a problem here, there's a problem here. So the root must be an exponential first step. Cool. Now let's go. So this is going to be g of x equal to, uh, uh, okay, g of x equal to, so it's going to be 3. Let's do like that. So g of x equal to 3, 3. So this is going to be kind of x, and this is going to be 1 of 2. You know why I say 1 of 2, because there's no number missing 2 over 1, so you flip the 1 of 2. Over 4, now we come here, okay, 7. Uh, so this is here, the denominator, so I must go to the top, if you want. But we know everything must be exponential. Exponential plus one go to the top, it's going to be x, negative 3, because we're going to come here. Okay, this must be an exponential. So plus, there's no number here, missing 4 over 1, so it's going to become x, flip it, 1 over 4. So this is saying, now, everything in the root, no root. Everything in exponential or oh, everything in exponential. Everything to the numerator. Oh yes. Numerator, numerator, numerator. What the next step now? Derivate. You know what I'm saying? You have to derivate. So this reciprocated numerator is the same thing. I think I should have removed this. But I think you understand when you say reciprocate or uh, so after derivate, I think then we can reciprocate. 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 So now we can go, man. So everything in numerator, we see everything uh, so okay, let's go. So G prime. A half times this is going to be uh, 3 over 4, so like 3 over 4 times whichever is there, which is the half. So it's going to give us 3 over 8 also. So it's going to be 3 over 80. And the next step, write your x at the top. A half minus 1 equal to negative a half. Guys, I told you a lot of noise in the background. My porridge. I told this guy about it. Okay. You know what I'm so negative a half and then plus. We got plus and then this. Take to the back. So since you did it, you must say prime here. So 3 times 7. Negative 21, x, negative 3 minus 1, negative 4, plus uh, this quarter means there's a 1. 1 of 4 times 1 equal to 1 over 4, and then this is going to be x, 1 over 4 minus 1 is going to become uh, negative 3 over 4. So we have already differentiated, but you can't leave your final answer like that. You know what I'm saying? You can't leave your answer like that. So for that case, now we have to reciprocate finally. So this is differentiated, bread. So we have to reciprocate finally. So reciprocation, you said this is g prime equal means this is derivative. Derivative differentiate to the same thing over 80 and then take to the bottom. So this will become x positive a half and the positive and negative is negative and this will be 21 and then this is going to come to the bottom also. x power 4 and then plus, okay, plus 1 over 4, 1 over 4. So all this stuff here must go to the bottom. So this is going to go to the bottom. It's going to become x3 over 4. So now we finish. So now let's go to the question number. Uh, number three. So question number three. Now let's go. So this one is done. Question number three. So for question number three, the ru the rules are the same. Simple rules. Simple rules. Simple rules, guys. So question number three. Okay. Question number three is easy. So now this is question number three. So this must be in power. So we say okay, of x equal to okay. So we have a negative. Okay. This is gonna be look. Okay. I like this. So this is like a 1 here, 3 over 1. So we're going to have x squared means this multiplied by 1 over 3. Because remember, you're going to flip. It's going to be multiplied by 1 over 3. 2 times 1, 2 over 3, it's 2 over 3. So it's like saying 2 over 3. So we're going to say this is 2 over 3. And then over, we have a 4. So all, everything in power already because the root must be in power. 
Oh, that's all? I thought maybe there's some stuff here with plus. So now let's go. So for that case now, if you want to differentiate, it's easy because uh, everything in the root and exponential and then everything numerator, all yes are the numerator. So what we're going to do, we're going to differentiate. So this is going to be k prime to the back. So this multiplied by the one of the, uh, so it's going to be negative, uh, negative times one over, because take this multiplied by negative, negative two over three, and then, uh, okay, let me say this, excuse me. If there's no number, I mean there's a one. So here's like, there's a one over four. So I'm going to say, uh, excuse me, I'm going to say negative one over four multiplied by two over three. And this is going to give us two over negative 12. And this is equal to one over six negative, negative one over six. Negative one over six, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, negative one over, excuse me, the space is right wrong. So this is going to become, when you derivate now, why do I derivate? Because everything in power. I'm equal to take to the back. So I say this is going to become negative one over six, negative one over six, and then uh, x, x, oh my goodness. I forgot something. <laughs> so I'm saying sorry. So now I say when you take this multiply by one over four, we get negative one over six. And then I forgot to minus. It means take two over three minus one. Because the moment this come back, this must be minus one. So this let me say um it's like say two over three minus three over three. So this is equal to uh one over three because one is like three over three. So one negative one over three. So this is gonna become negative one over Three. After we differentiate negative one over three, if you have a problem, please let me know. You know what I'm saying? So after that, now you can leave like you can even use a calculator. Take this, multiply by one over four because multiply by negative four, and then you're gonna get one negative one over six. Take whatever's here minus one, and then you're gonna get negative one over three. So after that, what you do the next step, you can leave like that. So you must reciprocate. So this is gonna be k prime of x. This is gonna become negative one over six, and all these gonna to come to the denominator. So it's going to become 1 over 3. And that's the final answer, okay? So make sure you subscribe. No, 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 we're not done yet. We'll go to the uh, question number 4. Question number 4, so let's make a space quick, quick. Okay, excuse me. Question number 4. Excuse me, my white ball is almost falling, man. Why is doing this? Yeah, let's say what? I think when I finish this question, I need to fix some, okay? So I don't want to stop now. Okay. Question number four. So this is easy. How are we going to do it? So first of all, let's write a question. So everything must be in a power. So this is going to be f of x. Our f of x equal, or f x equal to, so f x equal to seven. And this must be power, so it's going to become one over two. And this is going to be three x power seven and then plus b x plus f. Okay, so what is the next step now? It's done. So the next step, okay, everything power, 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 but the problem is go to the top. So then we're going to say f of x equal to seven. If this goes to the top, it's going to be x negative a half and then minus three power seven plus b x power one because there's no problem, it's power one plus f. This f has no x. So we see everything in the root and everything in exponential, and then numerator, and then we have to differentiate. So how are we going to differentiate this? So for differentiating, means now we're going to say this is going to become f prime of x equal, take this back, it's going to be negative 7 over 2 because 7 times negative half, negative 7 over 2, you can use a calculator if you want, and then drop the how it is, it's going to become x, negative a half minus 1, it's going to be negative 3 over 2. Now we come here, 7 times 3 equals 21 x 7 minus 1 equal to 6 and then plus 1 times b equal to b bar okay look 1 times b equal to b and then x now 1 times because we're going to take this one also 1 minus 1 equal to 0 plus this has no x so it's going to become 0 so i didn't even bother with it because it doesn't have an x so when you differentiate it's going to become 0 so we're done but we can leave our answer like this this must go to the bottom and the one negative one must go to the bottom but the positive one don't bother and we know this number power zero equal to one. So finally, uh, can you can just write here. So our oh, f of x. So this will become f, f prime. F prime equal to negative seven over two, and this is going to come to the bottom. Okay, this is going to come to the bottom. It's going to come x, and this is going to become three over two. Why both to the bottom? Because this is positive. 
and then minus minus sorry my handwriting minus 21 x power 6 and then plus n number power 0 equal to 1 so b times 1 equal to b so now let's go to the last one so to the last one i need to show you something quick quick okay very very important concepts so this one is done let's go to the last so to the last we finish now okay Okay. This is this is okay, man. Okay, let's go to the last. Oh, so the last one. Let me show you very very important concepts here. Very very important concepts. So you need eyes for this concept, okay? It's all about eyes. Your eyes has to be wide open. Your eyes must be wide wide open, okay? Very wide open. Okay. The stuff is falling, man. It's falling, man. Come on, bro. Okay, cool. Let me check my camera quick. If you can focus the yeah, you see there. Okay, cool. Now let's go. Ooh, got it, so it's pink, so place. Okay, so you see this how it looks. This is not like the one that we did before. The look is different, okay? The look is slightly different, but it's only the same, but it's slightly, uh, just a little different, you know? So let me show you now how to solve this type of this. So this is called power rule. I mean, just normal differentiation, but it's in the power rule. What is power rule? means you got or oh, how does it look? Or oh, how are we gonna solve this type of uh, this type of equations? Look, if somebody give, let's say this is k of x, and they say let's say this is seven, and then let's say x power three minus five, and then power eight. You see how it look? This is not like the first one, which is like eighty x power. You see, there was no something like this. So now instead of only x, there's an x and something in the bracket, and then that is this. But before it was like, let's say, 8 x power negative 2 over 5, and then you take it back. But now, it's kind of look like that, but now it's like they give a group of something with a bracket. So now, let me show you how we can solve this type of question, okay? So for this one here, we're going to say, for example, you're going to say, uh, so for you to derivate, make sure this group must have a power. This group, you could, okay, let me just say slow. This group must be power. So you can say, okay, so now, every, okay, everything... Is there any root? No root. Everything exponential? Yes. And then after that, now we can differentiate. Is everything to the top? Yes. So this will be k of x equal. So now, you see this? Treat as a one thing. Whenever you have a bracket mathematics, treat as a one thing. So I'm going to say this to the back. So it's going to be 7 times 8, which is going to give us 56. And then drop this the way how it is. So drop it x, 8, power 5, and then take this, minus 1, which is going to give us 7. And then after that, you see the one who draw? This one here? Now you can differentiate the one you draw. So when you differentiate the one you draw, look. Uh, this is 3 times 1 is going to be 3. Now drop your x. 3 minus 1 equals 2. And then this is, since it doesn't have an x, when you differentiate, it's going to be 0. So this is your final answer. Easy like that. Let's make sure you put k prime. You see, it's easy, right? Okay, so somebody gives you, for example, uh, uh, g of x equal to negative 1 or 4. Okay, let's say they give you x, 3, power 5, minus 2, and then power 6. Let's say differentiate. So the game is going to be the same. So I'm going to treat all of this as one thing. So what I'm going to do, I'll say, okay, so 6 multiply whichever number the back. So the moment you take back is when you differentiate. So make sure you have to put prime. Like this, you put prime. So, oh, so now prime equal 1 over 4 times 6 is going to be uh, okay negative 1 over 4 times 6 is going to be negative 6 over 4 which is going to be 3 over 2 negative so negative 3 over 2 and then we take this you right here the way how it is so this is going to become 3x power 5 minus 2 take this number minus 1 it's going to become 5 and then next step take whatever you drop See what I'm saying? Take the one which you drop here and then differentiate. So this is the one that I will drop it the way how it is, you see? And then power minus one, so differentiate. Five times three equal to 15, and this will become x. Five minus one equal to four, and then this number, it doesn't have it. 
And the X was going to say the same how it is. It's going to be loyal, authentic. Okay. Now let's take some, uh, let's take this one for example. So first and foremost, everything in power? Yes, everything in power. Let's go. So it's going to become L of X. Okay, 6 times 4, 6 times 7, it's going to be 2, 42. And then I'll drop this the way how it is. Drop is going to become x power cube minus 7x plus 17. 6 minus 1 equal to 5. Now, the next step, see the one we drop? Different shape now. Now, 3, there's no 1 here, there's no number. 3 times 1 equal to 3, and then drop your x. 3 minus 1 equal to 2, and this is going to become 7. No power means power 1. 1 times 7 equal to 7. This is going to become x. 1 minus 1 equal to 0. This number does not have x. So means it's gonna come zero with a different shape. You know what I'm saying? So now you're done, but you know, you're gonna to have to check this stuff. This one I can write like that. You know, it's not a good way, it's not the best way of writing your final answer. So I will say f of x equal to 42 x power 3 minus 7 x because x power equal to x plus 17 and the power 5. Now, we know for f x, any number power 0 equal to 1. 7 times 1 equal to 7. So this is going to become 3x power square minus 7. 7 times 9 equals 7. So this is the final answer. Make sure you put your prime. Man, uh, now we go for the last one. So that's the last one. Uh, I think I want to do more of this question in the next video. You know what I'm saying? Let's do, uh, but I can just do, mm, let's do the next video. Because I've got a lot of more questions. So I'm going to put this in the next video. Thanks so much for your time. Listen, you face time. Make sure you share it to a lot of people. And subscribe. And, you know, stay here, man. So if you're new, subscribe right there. Stay here. I love you guys. Peace and love. Thank you. Um, um, oh, um, oh, um, oh. We out.